Hello everyone, it's Jack here and today we're doing a speed build. Now this is something which I've been wanting to do for a while and haven't really got around to until now and it's my first time doing one of these speed builds so if you could uh, like leave your feedback on whether or not you like it and want me to carry it on as a series that would be really appreciated. Now let's get on to what we're going to do in this um, video. Now I decided that I wanted to make something like a windmill type thing and I didn't really have any like set plan when I started this I just knew that I wanted like a giant brick tower and a little side building to the side so that's what I went and did and I hope you enjoy it so here we go okay then so when I got started with this tower I went and marked out a dirt circle on the floor so I could get a rough outline of how I wanted to um, have the tower shaped and then I got some um, bricks and um, started building up the rooms now for each floor I did it full high and put in like a little tiny indentation into the inside of the building so I had like a marker of how high the floors were and um, that's pretty much it I continued this and every two floors I moved the tower in one wide with the um, circumference of it so it sort of created a cone shape as it went towards the top Now when I was building this roof, at first I was going to use cobblestone but I tried that out once and it, it didn't look too great because this, because of the sheer amount of bricks which was on this windmill, I thought that cobblestone just looked a bit too much overpowering with it so I decided to go with using um, wooden planks in the end and the roof is made of half steps and uh, wooden steps along with some wooden blocks in the middle. Um, and I used the steps to create the roof into more of a cone shape. Now, if I was doing something like this again in the future and the building was a little bit shorter, maybe I'd have used um, all um, half steps, but I thought for this, seeing as the windmill was so tall, um, I thought that with the roof being tall as well, it didn't look too out of proportion, and I, I think this roof looked pretty good, so it's, um, <laughs> it was pure guesswork how I was making it, so um, yeah. So what I was doing with these bricks is I was placing them round where each floor tapers in on the windmill because I wanted to sort of create more of a sloping effect and not have it look as um, jagged on the edges. So um, where each floor tapered in I placed a row of bricks round um, each edge with half uh, slabs on the corners and um, sort of used that to create more, like I said, a more sloping effect on the windmill and um, I think it looks quite a bit better with this. Okay then, so now I started placing the windows inside the windmill. Now each window was too high and this is where them uh, indentations, what I made in the tower, um, came uh, like coming useful. Um, because these were the original markers for how high the floors were going to be, but I later made the floors higher and um, it sort of like put them out of um, like where they were going to be, but the windows still look good in the final um, like product, so I didn't really see any point in changing them at a later date, but um, each window is too high and there's two on each floor.
Okay then, so now I set about doing the, um, like starting on the wind sail. So um, what I did here was I built a stack of fences around three, probably four blocks um, sticking out of the front of the windmill and um, started branching off with the sails. Now, this is something what I had to go into another world and just like mess around with for a little while until I got it right. Um, I eventually got it right at around, um, I think it was eight blocks branching out from each side on the sails. And then the wool was, um, I think it was seven or so on um, going towards the centre. Okay then, so now I set about building like a little extension to go on the side of the um, windmill. Um, when I first looked at it, after I'd built it without this extension, it looked a little bit too much like a plain tower and I wasn't exactly happy with it just because it didn't look like it had any character or whatnot. So what I set about here is um, I started building a extension so it was like to be used as the main entrance of the windmill. Um, and uh, that's pretty much what this building is, it's just a main entrance and a little bit of a storeroom as well. Um, I'm not too sure whether I should have made it all out of wood, just because um, the roof, which is made out of wood on it as well, uh, sort of blends in a little bit too much, and I'm not too sure whether I'm happy with that or not at the moment. It does look good, but I might have um, built the uh, building out of cobblestone or something in the future, but I didn't want to start branching out into that many materials where it just looked like it was all... Um, like slapped together so that's why I decided to go with wood on this. Okay then so now I start the inside of the windmill itself. Um, the floor throughout the entire lot is um, just a clean stone brick and um, when I broke through from the extension to the windmill itself I sort of created like a brick, art uh, brick archway um, using stone bricks and uh, bricks and um, a stone step up to the uh, higher floor within the windmill itself. Okay then, so what I was doing here with all the um, fence posts and the um, stone brick slabs, I was trying to create um, sort of a um, thing which looked like a millstone um, and the wooden gears running down from the sails to the millstone. Um, and what I did with these hatches and the hole in the floor was this was um, designed so they could uh, fall down stuff what was from the top of the windmill down to the bottom. And um, I was sort of experimenting with some of these fence posts and everything to try and make it look like a crane. Um, and sort of uh, ditched that idea and just left the uh, hatch in the ceiling.
Okay, then getting on to the uh, final part of this build, once I'd finished the um, interior of uh, the lighthouse and finished decorating it and whatnot, uh, I came outside and um, placed it around the edges just to make it look uh, that it wasn't such on the edge of the cliff, um, that it weren't hanging off the edge. Um, and uh, leading up to the lighthouse, I created a uh, nice pathway. Um, I didn't want it looking too industrial, so I just used uh, some gravel and um, around the edge of the lighthouse, I used some bone meal. Um, just to sort of pretty up the area and make it look like it hadn't just been built and that it had been there for ages and uh, so on. Okay then, so that's that for this build. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, a like would be awesome. And um, I'll try and drop a download link in the description if I have time. This build took me around um, an hour to an hour and a half worth of uh, building to get right. And um, yeah, please leave your feedback on whether or not you'd like to see this as a new series because I, sin I actually really enjoyed building this and I'd like to know what you think. So um, I'll see you on the next video and cue the awesome music.